Hello, my name is Mario Maase. I work at Vector as a software development engineer for the Canoe Option J1939. Since the weather was not very good after the release of Canoe 18, we had no choice but to put all our energy in the implementation of new features. The areas that have particularly benefited are Autosar end-to-end protection, J1939-22 dealing with CanFD, and testing of J1939. Let me show you the most important changes. The support for Autosar end-to-end protection has been extended. Profiles 2, 11 and 22 are now supported in addition to profiles 1 and 5. When sending via the J1939 interaction layer, CRC and counter are automatically calculated and set. CRC or counter violations are detected and displayed in the trace window. Convenient error injection functions are also available. And the configuration is as simple as possible. No Autosar file is required. Instead, everything is configured in a DBC database. The new couple functions allow you to extract the contained parameter groups from any multi-PG. Get number of contained PGs returns the number of contained parameter groups transferred with the multi-PG. Now you can iterate over all CPGs contained in the multi-PG and obtain the necessary information for each CPG. Get contained PG extracts the entire CPG. Get contained PG data extracts only the payload data of a CPG. Get contained PG assurance data extracts no payload but assurance data of a CPG. A separate function can be used to check the consistency of a given multi-PG and its CPGs. Inconsistencies are detected and reported. There are two new background checks. Using these functions, it is possible to check all bus traffic for protocol violations with just a few lines of code. Every fault that occurs is detected and described in detail in a test report. Other new functions make it easier to implement your tests. J1939 get device name returns the name for each real node that has sent its address claimed message, as you can see here in the trace window. J1939 IL get device name returns the name for each node simulated with the J1939 interaction layer. In this case, it is not necessary that the node has sent its address claimed message. Let's move on to testing. The function test case comment now supports not only messages, but also J1939 parameter groups. This means that a single call for any parameter group will add its PGN, source address, destination address, DLC and payload to the test report. The last couple function is about diagnostic testing. With the already existing function test wait for J1939 DTC, you can test whether an ECU correctly reports a fault with the correct diagnostic message. We extended the test capabilities by also implementing the opposite function, test wait for J1939 DM without SPN, to check a diagnostic message for the absence of a DTC with an SPN within a given timeout. And that's it. If you have any further questions, take a look at our online help or contact our support. We will be happy to help you. And now have fun working with Canoe J1939. See you soon.